Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will be discussing about the third problem of today's weekly contest Add edges to make degrees of all node even. Okay, this is not typical lead code hard problem, this is slightly easier problem. But as if you have solved it as well, I will encourage you to watch this video, it will not be too long. Uh, and uh, as always, you will be able to learn at least a thing or two from this video. Okay, so I would encourage you to stick to the end. And with that, let's start. The problem said that you are given an underrated graph consisting of n nodes from one numbered from 1 to n and you can add at most two additional edges. Okay, and these two additional edges should not be repeated edge and should not be a self loop. So basically, if they if you are adding an edge between AI and BI, there should not be already existing edge between AI and BI. And AI and BI should not be equal. So that's what these two conditions meant. Now you have to add at most two additional edge and what you want, you want to make the degree of each node in the graph even. And if you are able to do so by adding at most two additional nodes, you will return true. Otherwise you will return false. That's the problem. Okay. So given the graph, you can see here four has odd degree, like four has degree of three, right? And five has degree of one. All other nodes have degree of uh, even degree basically the, you can see 3 has 2 degree 2 which is even 2 has degree 4 which is even 1 has degree 2 which is again even so only 4 and 5 are of odd degree uh, are of odd degrees in this graph so what they are saying just add an edge between 4 and 5 now notice that there wasn't an edge already between 4 and 5 that's why we are able to add this edge now once you add this edge you can see all the graph all the nodes in this graph are of even degree and hence uh, we return true from uh, from this uh, for this particular case right now hope the problem statement is clear now how to solve this so notice this like there are two important things one at most two additional edges and second there is no repeated edge okay so let's talk about this case where there is there are at most two additional edge so we can add at most two additional edge, right? So with this two edge, how many nodes you can modify? Uh, in worst case, how many nodes uh, you can actually change the degree for? So the answer is four, right? What like in the in the best case, what you can do, you can just uh, add two nodes of different kind, right? Like these two are not valid edges, but just assume that you in worst case, in best case, what you can do. You can, your edges can touch at most four nodes, right? In best case. So your nodes, your edges can touch at most four nodes. And because that's the case, you can only change the degree of four nodes, right? At most four nodes. So if there are more than four nodes which have degree odd or which have odd degree, you can simply return false because you can't do anything. You can at most change the uh, change the degree of four nodes, and if there are more than four nodes which have odd degree, you will simply return false. So now, what are the cases remains? The cases remains is zero, one, two, three, four. So basically, there are uh, zero nodes which have degree uh, which, have, which have odd degree. There is one node which have odd degree. There is two nodes which have odd degree. There are three nodes which have odd degree, and there are four nodes which have odd degree. All other cases we have eliminated already. Okay. Now, uh, note that like can uh, for zero will simply return true because there is no node at all which have odd degree. So every node has even degree. So we will return true. Now for one. Now, will one ever be possible? Like, will this case ever be possible? And so uh, I would encourage you to pause the video and think and think of a graph where you have only one node which have odd degree. Okay. So pause the video and think. Uh, so I hope you have thought about it. Now let's see what exactly degree means. So when a edge actually connects two nodes, right? A uh, edge actually connects two nodes. So single edge is contributing total of two degrees. One to this node, one to this node, right? So a single edge is contributing total of two degrees. So now 
how many nodes or uh, basically let's say there are n edges okay so if there's n edges what is the total amount of total sum of degrees total sum of degrees would be 2n right because each edge will con will contribute one to the first node and one to the second node so each node will each edge will contribute two degrees so the sum of degrees is always even right sum of degrees always even now what they are saying is find a case where degree like sum of where there is only one node which have odd degree there is only one node which have odd degree so there is one node which have odd degree and all other nodes have even degree so this all other nodes has even degree if you just sum them up you will get uh, a even number right and if you sum this with this you are saying that this this node has odd degree right and if you sum odd with even you will get odd number right so what you are saying is if there is a if there is a single node which have odd degree the sum of degree of everything of entire node will be odd and can this be possible answer is no because sum of degrees 2n always and because sum of degrees 2n it is always even so sum of degree can't be odd anywhere so one is simply not possible at all you will not get a case where the sum of degree is one okay uh, sorry we do not get a case where there is one only one node which have odd degree okay similarly you will not you can't get a case where there is only three nodes which have odd degree for the same reason you can think about it yourself now only two cases remain one case where there are two nodes which have odd degree second case where there are four nodes which have odd degree okay now let's think about them one by one so again there are only two cases remain with us to solve if there are two nodes which have odd degree and there are four nodes which have odd degree and we are solving that so now let's think about it let's say this is the this is a graph and you can see here every every node has even degree except these two okay every other nodes have even degree yeah you can calculate this this has two degree right so everything is good this has four degree everything is good this has four degree again everything is good this has two degree this has two degree and this has four degree so only these two has one degree which is odd so if that's the case you can simply add an edge right and if you are if you add an edge like this you are sure that okay uh, everything is good uh, we are able to we are able to make degrees of all the nodes even and you will return true but will this always be possible answer is no this will not this no, will not always be possible reason being this edge uh, from one to like uh, from this particular node to this particular node let's say if this edge already existed uh, let's assume that there is already an edge like this now you have to solve the same problem you have to like assume that the, these two nodes are still having odd degrees like how you can make this uh let's say there is another node and there is another node so let's assume that these two node still have odd degrees right one and two like these two nodes still have odd degrees and every, every other node is good now can you now make uh like what you will you, what can you do now like how can you make degrees of these two nodes even you can't join these two nodes directly because there is already an edge so what is the other way other way is to join it with some other node right now if you join it with some other node this other node would become odd right this other node will become odd and this will become even so basically what you are saying is if you are joining one edge with some other node you are making that node odd because that was already even and you added one more edge so this will contribute one to its degree and it will become odd so now you will see okay now can i join these two if the answer is yes then you can still have like you can still return true for uh, this particular case so what we are what we are doing we are first trying to connect these two odd nodes so for basically we have to always connect two odd nodes that's always there right now if two if we can't connect these two odd nodes directly we have to take advantage of some other node so let's say this uh, we take a third node 
and we know that the, the third node will already be of even degree. So if we take the advantage of this node and we can see if there is an edge between this node or not. Okay. If this edge doesn't exist already, then yes, you can actually make these two edges and uh, make all the degrees even. So what exactly we have to do for for this particular case, like for the case where uh, the number of nodes which have odd degrees two, you will try out, you will try first connecting these two nodes directly if it is not possible because there is, if there is already an edge between them uh, existing, you can take advantage of any other node. You will try connecting this node with something which is not connected, which it is not connected to, okay, and you can find out whether there is an edge between that node and the target node. If there is no edge, then you found the answer. Okay, so hope this makes sense. So now, if you are if you try this for every other node, let's say uh, you try this for every node for which with which one is not connected. Um, you try this path, you try this path, you try this path, right? And you try out this path as well. So you try out every such path and uh, if if you exhaust every such path and you don't find a node where uh, with which you can connect the target node, then you can simply return false for this particular case. Now the only case that remains is four. Now what? How can you solve the case of four? Notice that you can solve the case of four only when you are connecting. So basically you have two nodes to connect, right? And you can you have to touch four nodes. So there is only one possible way to touch four nodes. And the way is to just rearrange those nodes among themselves. So let's say there is uh there is a okay, let's change the colors. So let's say there is this this is your graph. Okay. This is your graph, and now you have to uh you can see there are four nodes which have odd degrees, right? So because there are four nodes which have odd degree, you can, like you have to connect these four nodes among themselves. There is no other choice, right? So basically what you will do, you will try connecting this node with this node and see if other two nodes have an edge between them. Like it doesn't have an edge between them. Similarly, you will try connecting this node with this node and see if this uh, other two nodes doesn't have an edge between them. And finally, you will try connecting this node and this node, if it is not there already, and see if other two edge can have a, uh, other two nodes can have edge. So basically, you are trying the same thing, and trying out every possible combination of edges. So there are only three possible combination. One, you will connect this to this. Second, you will connect this to this, and third, you will connect this to this. And why we are trying out every possible combination? Because Assume that this node, this edge already existed, so you can't try out this combination at all, right? Or in other words, let's say this edge already existed, so you can't try out this combination, because if you try out this combination, you will, you have to map, you have to add an edge between this node and this node, which you can't because there is an, there is an edge already, so that's why you have, you will try, just try every possible combination and see if you are able to uh, add two edges between the desired nodes and if you are able to do so you will return true otherwise you will return false okay so hope this makes sense so only case we are, we are trying to solve is 2 and 4 other cases we have ignored directly so let's look at the code the code is very simple like what we have done we have just calculated degree of each node and we have just maintained a, a set of all the edges because we need to find out whether an edge exists or not right so for this, we have maintained a set. Now, as the edge is undirected, we have added it from both sides. Okay. Now, once we have this set of edges, we find out how many nodes are there which have odd degrees. And if the size of those nodes are uh, greater than four, we'll simply return false. Okay. Uh, then, like this case is not there as we discussed, like this will never be the case. So we can just remove this as well. And I am very sure it will pass. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it is passing, right? So, basically, you can uh, there there can be there can't be odd number of nodes which have uh, odd number of degrees. So we, we just proved that, okay? So uh, 
now we, if, if if it is greater than 4 it is false otherwise there are three possible cases one is zero second is two and third is four so if it is zero we will return true directly if it is two what we have said is we will find out a third node we will try to arrange this these two node among themselves first and then we will try to find out a third node and just connect first node with this third node and second node with this third node and we'll see if this edge one already exists and H2, if these two edges doesn't exist at all, we'll return true. If these two edges exist, if one of these two edges exists, we will try out another node. And if we exhaust every possible third node, we'll just run false. Okay. So now the last thing where our size is four. Uh, what we have done, we have tried connecting first node, which is odds of zero, with the jth node. Okay. And we have found out the remaining, we have found out the edge between the remaining two nodes. Like this is the first edge and this is the edge between the remaining two nodes. Again, the same thing, we'll just check whether these two edges exist or not. If they exist, if they don't exist, we'll return true. Otherwise, we'll return false. Okay. So hope the problem makes sense. If you have any doubts in the problem, please post them in the comment section below. I'm happy to answer. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you.